You've heard of someone's life hanging by a thread. It is not usually a positive thing, but hanging by a single strand is pretty much the bread and butter of a growing business in Orlando. Ted Brown says it's really an easy way to make a living, but no one likes to refer to it as a snap. Here's Ted's excellent adventure. I am told that the first person to come up with this was someone in New Zealand. Three, two, one, bungee! Proving again that seriously deranged people are not limited to North America. However, leave it to Orlando, city motto, go to the end of the line, to turn it into a roadside attraction. The way this works is, first, you sign a release verifying that your brain, as well as your body, is on vacation. Hand over, without anyone pointing a gun at you, $55. Then, you put some shackles around your ankles, walk like a convicted axe murderer over to a cage, which is then raised 150 feet into thin air. When that's done, you walk to the edge, make a short observation on the height, oh, and then confidently lean forward. Here we go. Three, two, one, bungee! Ah! In the unlikely event that something goes wrong, there is a pit underneath you to break your fall, possibly filled with residual fluids left behind by previous jumpers. First is fear, but then I don't know, it just... Once a cord catches, the fear goes away, and it's, uh, it's phenomenal. Wanting to find out what this was like, but not being stupid, I sent my photographer up with a small camera permanently attached to his hand, cutting in half any chance he might have had of using his arms to break his fall. Goodbye, Phyllis. Three, two, one, bungee! <laughs> got it. Oh, my God, this is wild. Oh, <laughs> It may not be Space Mountain, but then again, the line's a lot shorter. Ted Brown, Channel 4 Eyewitness News. Yes. Can you do it one more time? I wasn't rolling. <laughs> Don't you dare say that. Don't even think it. Right. <laughs> well, if you're not jumping at the chance to try this, Ted says, go take a flying leap. That's tomorrow night. More Olympics coming up next.